I want to talk about assisted suicide because in the media these days, we hear a lot of talk about medical assisted suicide uh, or uh, mercy killing, but really they're sugarcoating the reality of cooperating with the wrong. Now, we as a society, especially as a first world country, need to prevent suicide, not cooperate with this wrongdoing. Uh, Jonathan Van Maren and um, Blaise Allen wrote this book in 2017, A Guide to Discussing Assisted Suicide. And I strongly recommend you get a copy. But uh, I just want to quote a few things that they mention in this book. Because they say that uh, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And often suicide is the symptom of some other unmet need. So we as a society need to do everything we can to help people who suffer for, from these um, um, mental illnesses of, of wanting to, to, uh, to die of suicide and also for uh, giving people their dignity and to fight against this culture of death who sees death as the solution to problems. One of the things that uh, Blaise Allen and Jonathan Van Maren say in their book is that um, medicine is, um, medical solutions are, uh, modern medicine is improving at an incredibly fast rate and we need to seek further cures, further solutions to, um, people's problems to make medical advancements instead of having this alternative. And uh, I wouldn't want to call it medical assisted suicide because it goes against um, providing true health care, right? And um, the Hippocratic Oath is uh, an oath that um, physicians swear when they become doctors. They, they promise to share knowledge to help those who are ill. And they make an oath to to um, to prevent harm and to never give a deadly drug. To never give a deadly drug. Yet this uh, assisted suicide is giving a lethal injection. And often, um, you know, the sufferings that people have uh, today, right, their conditions we might have solutions for them tomorrow or in a, a few years from now, because like I said, modern medicine is quickly advancing. And if we have suicide as an alternative, this removes the incentive to seek further solutions, to make further advancements. Another interesting thing that Jonathan Van Maren and Blaise Allen say in their book is that often when we hear of um, medical, quote unquote, assisted suicide, um, you know, the, the discussion is has a double standard because if somebody who is non uh, uh, is non disabled speak about suicide, often they're discouraged and they're offered suicide prevention. But when a disabled person talks about suicide, suddenly the conversation is overtaken with words like choice and autonomy. And if we were to uh, try to prevent the suicide you know, as a family member or as a um, you know, good law-abiding citizen, somebody who, uh, with, with decency tries to prevent suicide for, from these people who are, uh, are suffering, uh, we're seen as those who are undermining their ability to make decisions. But suicide is the symptom of a mental illness. Suicide is not the solution for those who suffer from a mental illness. Now, there's nothing um, nice about this um, action, right? It's, we, we can't sugarcoat it. And to call it mercy killing. And there's nothing medical about assisting somebody in um, 
terminating their life by suicide. So brothers and sisters, I strongly encourage you to get a copy of this book. It was uh, written in 2017, but it's very relevant and uh, our society is pushing uh, pushing for uh, a suicide to be become a normal thing. Um, but um, life is sacred and we need to defend that life. We need to defend those who are vulnerable in our society and uh, to speak against this, uh, this culture of death. So I hope this video helps encourage you uh, informs you about the sanctity of life and the discussions that we need to have right now.